Hey, I'm Chase with EOTech. Today, we are talking risers, their features, and what they do for you as the end user. So we have an entire other video that you should go check out on the benefits of risers, the actual human interface bit, how they help you shoot better. But today, we're talking about the risers themselves and their individual product features. There's a ton of them on the market. We have a great sampling here. Really appreciate all the companies that are helping us out with this so we can pass on all this good information to you. So let's start over here on my right, your left. First, we have the OG in the riser game, the recent riser game, and that is Unity Tactical. Here we have the original fast riser and the fast absolute. And the reason they did that, two different heights, as you can see there, is that one is for our EXPS series, and the absolute riser is for our XPS series. And that's because the XPS series has the direct mount, whereas the EXPS series has our little throw lever there. And those two optics sit at different optic heights. We have a different video you should check out on optic heights. And so these two risers fit that different optic height perfectly to ensure that you're getting that 262 desired optic height for all of your riser joy and needs. Moving down the line, we have two offerings from ADM. The first one we're gonna talk about is the simple riser itself. So this is gonna work with either of our XPS or EXPS lines, and it just mounts directly to the Picatinny riser itself, and boom, clips right on, and there you go. It does come with their classic ADM throw lever mount, which is super cool, very robust, it's a very simple system. As you can see, it's completely self-contained within the footprint of the optic, and you're good to go. Next, we've got the ADM XLR 1700. So as you can see, this is considerably long longer than their standard 1700 mount, and that is because it fits both our HWS and our clip-on magnifiers. As you can see here, the XLR mount works with both our HWS, either the EXPS or XPS series, as well as our magnifier mounts. And the magnifier mounts are gonna come with a little shim here, so if you're running the XPS, it's a little lower, EXPS, it's a little higher. But the 1700 EXLR from ADM fits both optics together. So you maintain the standard flip to the side capability, left or right, whichever your preference is. For the magnifier, you flip out of the way when you don't need it, and you flip it down when you do need it. All right, let's talk about overbore systems. Overbore Systems, they seem like a fun company. And their canoe is a kind of cool mount. So as you can see here, it's gonna give you a slight bit of elevation or rise above the ADM 1700. And again, it's the same idea. You can put on our HWS in the front and you can clip on our magnifier here right behind it. And there you go, you've got both functionality for the magnifier and for the HWS, again, maintaining that flip to right or left capability that our standard magnifier mount works with. Very simple riser. It's been getting a lot of great reviews out there. Seems to be well received. And so it's just another great option for those of you who are in the riser market and looking for something simple, straightforward, and effective. All right, moving down the line, we have ScalarWorks. And we're pretty excited about this mount. So ScalarWorks is known for their super high quality mounts. As you can see back there, we've got one of their Leap mounts and we love ScalarWorks stuff. They're just mwah, three chef's kisses. The interesting thing about this is it's different than any of these other risers in that the HWS mounts directly to the mount itself. So you can see here, they have the screw holes in place. And so you're going to remove whatever mounting system is on the HWS when you get it and screw it in directly to the mount itself. And then on the back here, you see they have some Picatinny rail where again, you can throw on that magnifier if you wanna have it and have it flip to left or right as per the standard setup. Again, keeping in mind, you wanna make sure you're using that shim if you need it to get proper optical alignment. And that's just a fitment thing that you can work out uh, for yourself, your proper biomechanics and your gun setup. So ScalarWorks is definitely, as per usual, innovating and doing some really neat stuff. Now last, but certainly not least, the Hydra. Let's talk about it. The Hydra, certainly the most unique looking offering in our riser lineup today. This is unique within the market currently for its ability to integrate laser and the optic with a riser capability. 
So the idea that GVRS is running off of is that as you move the laser back, you're going to get better balance on the weapon because you're moving weight towards the center line. And that's going to mean that you're getting faster transitions and the weapon doesn't seem as heavy to carry. It's not as front heavy. Physics applies. Basically, that's the idea here. And they also made it taller. So this is a 291 versus the generally around 226 that you're getting on your optic height. And the reason they did that is they found that it's working better for shooting under night vision, shooting with gas masks, and especially for larger individuals. As you get taller, shockingly, your neck gets taller bigger dudes, more muscular dudes, all that kind of stuff, they need a slightly taller optic just to fit them. And that's certainly what the Hydra is offering. Now, that's certainly not the uh, complete feature set for the Hydra. We're just hitting the high points here. But the really interesting thing here with the Hydra is that it does let you put your laser up here right in front of your optic. It's a super solid mounting platform. It looks extremely unique. And it's tall enough that you're not going to have to worry about any blooming effect that you're going to get when you're running that good firm C-clamp up front. The illuminator and lasers are going to shoot over your hand, over the weapon. You're not going to get the spill or blooming at all here. It's all going to go down range where it needs to be. So you don't have any issues there with blue on blue or laser conf confusion. So this is a really unique mount. It's super solid and I've really been enjoying it. So guys, this is our little video on risers and some of the features that they offer to you. At the end of the day, you have to decide if a riser is right for you, and if so, which one. They all have unique feature sets, they all meet different price points, and they're all sort of designed with basic similarities and function in mind, but they accomplish that mission in unique and interesting ways. I'm just excited to see all this innovation in the industry. We love being a part of that, we love helping out, and we wanna get that good, valuable knowledge out to you guys. And that's what this is about. If you got any questions or comments, put them below. All of these products will be linked in the description. Really appreciate you guys watching. Train hard, live free. See you next time.